In kids being kids news. Kids being kids news. Submitted by that one guy. Not two guy. Not two. Which guy is this? That one. That one guy. With a mustache? Mm -hmm. Parents of a two-year-old boy were shocked to find their son has shredded a stack of cash they were saving. Oh, yeah. Oh, fuck. <gasps> oh, my God. Ty could probably oh, do that. <laughs> I sometimes leave the shredder on, too. So he might, like... It's, like, within his reach? No. There's only one thing to do. Get rid of that child. <laughs> yeah. It's only, like, a little bit of money. Come on. How much is it? Wasn't it like a thousand or something? Listen, yeah. A thousand dollars is a, a lot. Thousand. But a thousand for someone might be a lot. It depends it on their financial their situation. It to could get be. rid of the child. It could, <laughs> it could be a lot. Get rid of that child. There's yeah, people that sell, that sell daughters in Thailand for like 40 bucks. Oh, oh man. That got real, dude. That's too that's sad. So, sad. so imagine that's like, I don't know how many daughters that is in a thousand dollars. Fucked up. And it was a little girl. That's, so that's like two and a half. And a little Thai shredder. Two and a half. Okay. Damn, dude. That's crazy. I will fucking tell that kid that he has to pay like for the rest of his life. I'll, I'll stack for interest. For a thousand dollars? Yeah, I'll stack interest on that shit. I'm like, when you were two, this is what you did? <laughs> now you're 18? 33% interest But rate. with all the interest? Yeah, dude, I'm a I'm a mobster, that kid. Like, I'm gonna put some 40% Hell like, yeah. Go taxes great on that, on that shit. And I just yeah. keep like, yeah, man, you owe me for this, you owe me for that, you owe me for college. You're a great college. father already. Yep. When you guys hear thousand dollars, what do you think about buying? I think about first. putting it on black and letting that shit spin and see what the fuck happens. Okay, yeah. when you're a responsible human being, when you think about a thousand dollars, what do you think about buying? A flight. Responsible? When you're responsible? No. no. Hotel. Okay. Well, just normal shit. You don't just fucking throw a thousand. Bills? Yeah, I'm like I would probably pay my small? debt with that. Hmm. What do you mean like responsible? Like some like fun? Uh, actual object versus. Ah, then you know putting on the fucking black is a little different. Really? I see it as the same thing. Really? A thousand dollar purse? That's ridiculous. No. But you get to use it. You get to enjoy it for like... That's utility. I use... I get to enjoy it for the 15 seconds the ball's bouncing around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I never did a thousand, but I did 700. Dang. It's pretty close. Uh, that's pretty good close, bro. Did you win? <laughs> Yeah. Call it a thousand. Round up. And it went to fourteen hundred. Wow. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I think all the things that I like are so fucking expensive that it's all over a thousand. So if I just had a thousand, I would just save it. Because anything that would get my jollies in a wally, <laughs> I would probably need like... I've never heard of that saying before, bro. And don't you look at me like it's a saying that everybody yeah. knows. <laughs> anything that's going to get my jollies in a wally is going to gonna be more He's than the a He's the one grand. that says the dogs have to get their wiggles out. Oh, yeah, that's right. No, he said that. Joe said wiggles. Oh, really? But I understand what he's talking about. So oh, that it. came from Jess. Huh? Cause she's a wiggly, he's a wiggly Asian man. A little wiggly Asian man. Yeah. yeah. Why do you have to emphasize the little, huh? <laughs> Just say wiggly <laughs> Asian man. No, he's a wiggly, strong Asian man. No, she said little wiggly Asian man. He's a Asian stable, man. wiggly Asian man. Okay, we have the source here, Jess. Well, can you repeat what you called him? Yeah, he's a little wiggly Asian man. She emphasized the little. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this tweet uh, that went Viral. I hope this Viral. Is. Oh shit. <laughs> that shit looks like weed. How did he shred it up? So the tweet shit. says, so me and my wife had been saving up to pay for our at Utah football tickets in cash. We pulled our money out yesterday to pay my mom for the season. Well, we couldn't find the envelope until my wife checked the shredder. Yep, two-year-old shredded $1,060. Oh, fuck. Look at this little kid, dude. He's so cute. That's a kid you should the fuck player, up. Bro, I can't Boy. See uh, he probably had so much fun just shredding one at a time. <laughs> I have fun no, shredding he, paper. It looked like he did it like in stacks, because you could see like in the in the strips. Oh, perfect, it's like perfect. a lot. Uh, it's like I a see. layer of them. Yeah. Shredding is fun. I give it to the it kid. It is fun. I fucking hate that kid, It's dude. really fun. Aww. Is he Asian? No, he's white. No, a lot of kids look Asian because they don't develop the full the eyes until like oh. as the, the, yeah as they grow. Oh, they for yeah. Oh no, wait. <laughs> it is fucking. It's very it technical. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna play a video. A video of the parents beating his ass. No. Yeah, oh, that's what I thought too. <laughs> Can't you go to the fucking bank and no, do that? No, it has to be 50% at least. Oh, that's not 50%. <laughs> She's holding the shredder. We started laughing. We were just baffled that this could happen. And I just... cried for a minute. Oh, fuck. Yeah, oh, she's a parent? Yeah. She's super young looking. For that old of a kid? He's two. two. Oh, that kid was big, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's a looks, big two-year-old. He looks like a four-year-old. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah and the bicycle that's riding photo, a bike? that's going to be tight, though. Yeah, he looks like he looks Yeah, he four. looks straight up. He does not look two. That I know, in this photo, he does look older. With the bike? 
He looks like he's four years old with no friends. Yeah. With lots of friends. So if you go to the bank and you got all the shreds and you taped it all you together. Can't. You can't. Even if you taped it together perfectly? You can't, no. Well, what if you were still working at the bank and it was a homie though? I can't, because they check your box. You're not a friend. So I they can make... get their money back. How? Oh, really? How? Yeah, so the federal... Act like she knows everything. Well, maybe not at help. the bank, but they do say that the Federal Reserve, they have a special department for Stupid money kids. that for money that has been destroyed. Oh. So they're saying that they have to put all this money in the shredded pieces Gotta into an envelope reserve. and then they have to send it in and then it'll take about that. two to three years to get their money back though. But they can get their money back. Damn. I never heard of that. It's that not is a the complete slowest loss. process I've ever heard <laughs> in my life. Fuck everything, the Federal Reserve. Everything that the federal government does is fucking way too slow. Like, yeah. it's like the response like, that you get. Why are they get. even taking our taxes? I know. Why? Yeah. Like, like if I went to like Just the kidding. federal or whatever, called them up, right? I have this money that's destroyed. They're like, cool, we could fix it. Seven years from now. All right, goodbye. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? I'd be so fucking mad, dude. I know with yeah, inflation, like, yeah. it'll like decrease. Yeah, it's worth nothing. Year. It's gonna be worth like seven hundred bucks or some shit yeah, yeah. by the time you get it back. At least you get something back, though. You'll get a little surprise in two years. But that's like the IRS too. If you miss a payment, they're like, we need it tomorrow. If you miss the deadline, you're fucked. We're gonna send collections. And then if they mess up, they're gonna give you your money back. You're like, wait two years, we'll send you That's a so check. funny how, huh? yeah. They're so good and on your case when they need some shit. And then when it's your turn, where are they? Yeah. yeah where the saying, fuck are they? They're saying it'll take six months to three years. Six months to three years. Oh, that's not bad, I guess. Six months to picture, three years. I just picture like guys like with just that's like doing this one by one, just putting it together. With uh, with, uh, with like little it? pliers and yeah. shit. Yeah, I got the fucking, you know, the whole you owe Jesus. money to the yeah. IRS thing call thing. Like I fucking got that shit because it was a 916 number. So I was like, oh, it could be like. You mean those uh, like scams? Scam? Yeah, dude, it was so fucking annoying. I should have recorded that conversation, but I was like in the car. But he was like, you owe X. I was like, well, how much money do I owe? Right? And he goes, you owe a thousand. I was like, a thousand dollars. That's it. I started laughing because it was yeah. so, it was such a dumb number, yeah. you know? It's like, sir, this is not a funny matter. You should not be laughing. And I'm just cracking the fuck up. And he had an Indian accent too. Uh, no, I forgot what, what was it? I think it was just regular old English. Or maybe I was just laughing too hard. I couldn't re remember it. But it was such a ridiculous number. It was like a thousand bucks. I was like, get the fuck out of here, regular bro. Regular old English? Like he was uh, like, thy. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Ye owe a thousand shekels. <laughs> it's like, shekels, my dude. What the fuck? <laughs> But that shit was so odd, you would think it would be a more feasible number, but it was like a thousand dollars. Well, a lot of normal people don't really owe taxes, like they get tax returns. Yeah. Mm. So like, for, he's just, they're just shooting out numbers, right? They're like, oh, you owe a thousand dollars. Cause to a lot of people, that is a lot of money. I know, I just literally just said. Dang, you rich, dude. How much money you got? Laughable. Dude, a thousand dollars, bro? Shit, Damn. Man. That doesn't even pay my food bill for a week. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, dude. Sometimes I just buy gold and I chew on that shit. Shit, dude. <laughs> you so rich, David. Yeah, that's why I bought the Honda Element. <laughs> oh, that car is breaking down on me. By the way, by the horn, Yosemite, Sequoia. How many Honda Seeing cars see? go off-roading and stuff, I didn't see a single one. Not I, one. I saw one broken down on the side of the road, and I think that was a Honda Element. First of all, Honda it Elements Asian aren't crying. made for going off-roading. What are they made for? It's made to be on the road and traveling. And getting your ass kicked by other people. Hey. That's why I'm training right now. <laughs> Just in case some shit happens and they see my car, me playing the flute inside of it. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking car, man. Yeah, the AC That's went That's like out. me and David combined into one car. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I refuse to yeah. get up that car, though. Absolutely oh, yeah, refused. the element and yeah. the flute, dude. Dude, that's pretty crazy. Like, I, 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 I think, like, when I was younger, like, way younger, like, in my teens, a thousand dollars was a lot of fucking money. Well, yeah, twenty bucks was still a lot of money for me. Dude, but I think the older you become, like you raise a family and all that shit, like a thousand dollars is still a lot because it's hard to come by. But it's like it's it's like it goes away like that. Like you could spend in like that. Like back then, I bought a car that was like a thousand dollars. A car. That's like me too. Crazy. My first car was twelve hundred. Like yeah, a piece of junk. I had like a, like a Nissan 200 SX. Yeah, that was like an 80, 87. I do remember. I do remember when I first joined the military when I was like 19. And then I was like, oh, what, what, should I go active duty or whatever? And then I was like, hey, dad, you know, if I stay in the military, maybe five to ten years from now, I could probably make like 70 grand a year. 
And then, uh, in my mind, it was a lot of money, right? 70 I mean, so grand is a lot of it, it, money. It is, but then for my dad, who wasn't even making that amount, he laughed at me and he was like, you think that's a lot? He goes, wait till you have a house and car payment and you have a kid. He goes, that money goes fast. Mm -hmm. I think as a, at that time, when you don't have too many expenses, you're like, what? You're tripping. But then later I'm on, gonna pay for yeah, because you don't pay the bills. Fucking yeah. dad, everyone else does, right? Yeah. So you're like, <laughs> once you have bills, you're like, fuck, money goes fast. Good man, fucking no kids and shit. Everything is just free for all right now, dude. You fucking not pay for that. I pay for that. Watch when that kid comes in. Fuck that kid. He's gonna start to death. <laughs> yeah, but then it's called investing. You have your farm, right? And you have your kids. Like your your fuck theoretical farm, not a real farm, right? It's called a household. Coming from you, we never know. <laughs> I'm glad you clarified. <laughs> and what what you're doing is raising future workers for you. I just want my kids you raise to them live. Ryan, they'll fucking take care of you. I want to live lavish, but I want my kids to live minimal. <laughs> what are you doing right now in your life to live what? lavish? Look at the bottom of your fucking socks. Show everyone the bottom of your socks. Why is it holy? No, I got some. I got some tape on it and shit. <laughs> But you know what? This is lavish stuff. Oh, the Hanes extremes? Yup. Yo, man. I'm a lavish. You guys don't think I'm lavish? I'm lavish. David's pretty lavish. Pretty lavish. I'm looking That's at everything you have lavish. right now. You live, David. You he live. He has socks on, and this is what the fuck is on his feet. This <laughs> you, is what the fuck is on his feet. You live right middle now. class, right? So does that mean you want your children to grow up in poverty level? Yes. I want my kids. To, <laughs> like worse than you did. I want my kids to have the exact same things I had. Or Going worse. Up. Yes, or worse. So they're not even gonna have a. They're gonna grow up and be like, man, dad, you a bitch, because they grew up worse than you. <laughs> yup. I want my kids. No, I just want them to have the exact same things I have. I want them to go to school. I want them to get or the get fucking a black, beauty salon, black beauty supply store. Supply store. I want them to get yelled at, rubbed, mugged. I want if them to get. If you have two kids, are you gonna do it exactly the same where your first kid has a photo album that's this stacked and the second kid has no pictures? Mm -hmm. that You're gonna love the shit out of the first one. <laughs> my my brother has like three photo albums and I have this one little skinny one. It's just so sad. You were dude. probably an ugly ass kid. No, I was cute as fuck. I turned ugly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jokes on you, Chio. I know that was. Have that you was heard good. of the ugly duckling reversed? That <laughs> reverse duckling. <laughs> They're like, oh, you're just a goose. No, you've been a goose the whole time. You're just an ugly goose.